Here we presents the top 5 best wireless mouse. Starting at number 5, Vixing MM0572. 4G. With an ergonomic design, a good variety of DPI settings and good pulling rates, this wireless mouse is best suited for the hands of a gamer on a budget. For what you pay, the Vixing MM057 does well for casual gaming. DPI levels are wide, with 5 options, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000, and 2400. The polling rate is average, with only 2 options, 125 Hz and 250 Hz. Not only does the Vixing work well, it feels good in the hand too. It has concaves and curves that allow for your fingers to rest comfortably. Even the scroll wheel scrolls smoothly with enough response that doesn't feel loose or breaking too strongly. This is incredibly different from the strange and uncomfortable design of the Microsoft Arc mouse. Only those with medium or large hands will be able to get a proper palm grip with this mouse. Small hands will have a hard time reaching the front side button, while very large hands will find the mouse too wide in the front for a comfortable grip. If you don't mind a wired mouse, the Logitech G300s is a good option for those with a small hand and a palm grip. The Vixing MM057 wireless mouse takes a few wrong turns, but overall is a good package, the sum of its parts, are more valuable than individually. It still performs well as a wireless mouse, though the nano receiver is a bummer. It has enough DPI levels for variety, and can work at a great distance. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Logitech M570. The Logitech M570 wireless trackball mouse puts an emphasis on comfort and ergonomics above all else. The trackball design takes some getting used to, but if you can get used to the unique input interface, this mouse will reward you with long-term comfort. To say the design of the Logitech M570 wireless trackball mouse is unconventional would be an understatement. Compared to nearly any other mouse, it looks like it was made for an alien. The interesting aesthetic isn't an accident though. Admittedly, it took a bit of time to get used to. After over 10 years with a more conventional mouse design, testing out this layout was a change of pace. However, hour by hour, it became clear why this ancient design is still going strong. It feels natural, and although movements felt imprecise compared to other mice, it didn't put nearly as much strain on our hands. We're over 50 hours deep into testing this mouse at the time of writing this review, and it's safe to say we're not in any rush to go back to a conventional mouse. Considering the Logitech MX Anywhere 2s is at the top of the charts in terms of features and price, it's a bit difficult to directly compare it to other portable mice on the market. That said, there are two others that offer similar functionality at lower price points. We were surprised by how well we liked the Logitech M570 wireless trackball mouse. It looks unusual, is bulky, and takes some time to get the hang of, but once we familiarized ourselves with the new form of input, it became clear why this mouse has an almost cult-like following. It's the most comfortable mouse out there, and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg either. Halfway of my listed number 3, Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed. Razer's line of Basilisk mice have changed since it first introduced the Basilisk to win over first-person shooter gamers in 2017. Today's lineup features the Basilisk V2 and two attempts at the best wireless mouse, the Basilisk Ultimate, and Basilisk X Hyperspeed, the latter of which is the focus of this review. The Basilisk X Hyperspeed wireless mouse holds the entry-level spot in the Basilisk lineup, but its comfort and gaming prowess prove that in some cases lower specs can still yield a great value. Casual gamers will be fine with its gaming performance, but serious competitors will struggle to call this the best gaming mouse, due to last-gen technology and the lack of connectivity options. The Basilisk X Hyperspeed is most defined by what it lacks, the Razer Speedflex cable found in the Basilisk V2, Basilisk Ultimate and Dethater V2. Instead, this is a wireless mouse that connects via a 2. 4GHC USB Type-A dongle powered by Razer's hyperspeed wireless technology, that it claims, has better performance than competitive products you can also connect via Bluetooth Low Energy. The mouse performed well in the titular hyperspeed 3. 4GHC wireless mode, and I didn't notice any missing, delayed or otherwise incorrect inputs either. Some people will never be convinced that a wireless mouse can be as reliable as a wired one, but in my experience, the Basilisk X Hyperspeed performed as well as the Basilisk V2 in competitive shooters like CSGO. Sure, I missed a few flicks with the op, but that's not its fault. 
but in my experience, the Basilisk X Hyperspeed didn't feel lesser in any way to the Basilisk V2. People who rely on some of the Basilisk X Hyperspeed's missing features, a sensitivity higher than 16,000 CPI and more programmable buttons, should opt for the Basilisk V2. The rest, however, will be just fine with the Basilisk X Hyperspeed, and save $20 in the process. Coming in at number 2. Logitech G502. Maybe you're wondering why we reviewed the Logitech G502 back in 2018. The reasoning is sound, this mouse is so good, that Logitech has kept it around for years, and the upgraded Logitech G502, as well as its wireless model, the Logitech G502 Lightspeed, gave us an extra reason to go back. The classic mouse design is still here, but with a new sensor to make it compete with the best gaming mice on the market. If you're familiar with the previous iteration of the G502, don't expect to see much change on the outside. It's still the dark, moody, angular, Batmobile-like mouse that it's always been. It looks odd in an office environment, but fits in a gaming battle station just fine. The build combines matte black plastic for the primary buttons and grips, and puts glossy plastic between the mouse's aesthetically different sections and on the extra buttons. The matte plastic does a good job of hiding hand grease, but the glossy plastic fares worse. The scroll wheel is shiny, metallic and neatly notched. A button just behind the scroll wheel toggles the notched scrolling, and it's a real delight with pronounced clicks. Toggling the mouse for infinite scrolling lets the wheel spin so freely that a good flick can keep it spinning for over 10 seconds. Terms of service and other long documents have never been easier to not read. While some hands will love the feel of the G502 Hero, and the ample buttons it offers, the best wired gaming mice from SteelSeries, don't cost any more and offer effectively equal performance, and more options for different grips. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. And number 1. Logitech MX Master 3. A few years ago, Logitech hit on a winning formula with its MX Master mouse. This premium productivity peripheral wasn't cheap, but it provided everything power users needed to dominate a workspace, thumb buttons, a horizontal scroll wheel, gesture controls and a robust software suite. The Logitech MX Master 2s followed a few years later, with improved battery life and a fun new software feature. The Logitech MX Master 3 mouse is not radically different from its two predecessors, but it's the most refined version yet. From its smart redesigns on thumb buttons and gesture controls, and its extremely long battery life to its novel scroll wheel technology, the MX Master 3 is probably the best premium productivity mouse you can buy. The price might still be prohibitive, and I wish the software ran just a bit more smoothly, but Logitech has made a compelling case for the MX Master 3's utility in almost every common office program. The MX Master 3 is a large, ergonomic, right-handed mouse, measuring 4. 9x3, 3x2, 0 inches. The device weighs 5. 0 ounces and runs on a rechargeable lithium-ion battery. My only complaint here is that there's nowhere on the mouse to store the teeny tiny dongle, which is just begging to get lost the second you remove it from a USB port. Logitech also claims that the MX Master 3 provides impressive battery life, 70 days on a full charge, we can't verify this as we've only had the device for a few weeks but we haven't made much of a dent in the battery life yet. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.